One of the things that I love about my job the most is um, being able to help practitioners, help leaders see what the future could be. And maybe their organization's not quite ready for it today, but if we are not taking the effort to show them what's possible, those weak signals that are out on the radar, and it's not shiny object syndrome, you know, that's our job is to go out, kick those tires, do a really good, you know, under the hood look to see what technology, what kinds of approaches, have a learning angle that makes sense, that are going to be budget friendly, that are not going to consume proportionally amounts of the budget that is not justifiable to, to the desired outcome. So taking the time now to educate learning leaders in our industry, the kinds of things that are coming and the dreams that may be, helps them to plan for that tomorrow. The other piece that goes with that that's a really important one is this upskilling of the L&D practice because with these incredible new ways of serving up learning, SMS coaching and video coaching, one-to-many performance apps, using MOOCs to serve up an incredible amount of, of new content in different ways that's more moderated, there is a chasm of where our L&D practitioners are today and where they need to be to fulfill the promise of these incredible technologies. And that is another part of my role that I am incredibly passionate about and love.